Oh, what a treat. I'm gonna be like a kid in a candy store looking at all this old iron. <gasps> I feel like a kid in some kind of a store. <laughs> So I'm out here on a field trip today, just looking at old iron and anything I can maybe use for my projects. Check out this old Western star. Oh, it's lots of twin sticks. I think there's uh, lots of old farm trucks that have been brought to this wrecker. So I think this is gonna be a real treat today. Old white, Love that four speed, big old winch tractor. Yeah, that's neat. A chrome lube refiner. Nice. And here's a real old Kenworth. I wonder if it's got the ear on it. Old needle nose. 74. 900. That's a beefy bumper on it. Actually, it's a shame this one's not a 73. Because a 73 was the... Uh, was the 50th anniversary of Kenworth. And what they did was they had it uh, uh, black and then gold. No, it was gold and then black. I can't remember one of the two. Anyway, that was the one that was on because one of the trucks on Smoking the Bandit was a 73 and it had that. It down good, didn't it, Great. I'm thinking of just painting mine because these remain pretty consistent for many years just to kind of look like it. But it'd be nice to get an actual 73. So we're one year off, but cool truck nonetheless. Oh, they actually upgraded it to a newer tranny. Looks like it's got a 13 speed. The old flat dash. Oh, this is neat. Yeah, this is the Kenworth pedal. See, look at that. Oh, I should see how much they want for that. That's the classic Kenworth pedal. I peeled the rubber off uh, mine on Project Snowman and it's just a plain old steel one. So that is pretty neat. The old uh, butterfly hood. Oh yeah, big old Cummins in it. Looks like we had a little bit of a leak in the air compressor. 10 bucks says you throw some batteries in here and prime it up. I bet you she'd fire away. Right on. Well, we'll keep looking around and see what we can find here. Western Star Alley here. A lot of squashed up ones, some hoods. Interesting, actually Western Stars are made in uh, Kelowna, BC. When I was a mechanical engineering student, a job had come up for, oh, well, there's a cab over cab we should go look at. A job had come up for me to uh, potentially go and work for them. So I wrote them this long letter on, you know, my love for trucking and how I'd love to combine engineering and and, work, and designing trucks. And I was just, uh, wrote a real heartfelt letter, put it with my resume and they, uh, they never called back. So I guess it wasn't meant to be that I went to work for Western Star. All right, what do we got here? It's a 362, I'm guessing. Yeah, the square headlights, so it's the uh, the mid 80s. Now, when I was looking at a, a W or a K100, the guy was telling me the doghouse was just shot. So that's this uh, this um, aluminum structure over top of the engine, and you can see it's a it's a little crack there. So I think a lot of times in these cab overs, you got to be careful when you buy them. To take a look at the uh, to flip the cab up and take a look at the underside and see if they're uh, if they're damaged at all but this is the same cab of the one that i was looking at on vacation there same type of truck mid 80s cab over 
Yeah, it looks like people have been stealing a few parts out of here, but if I was doing a cab over this would be pretty neat. Yeah, it's the same uh, buckskin tan. Uh, let's hope we don't find any. Oh yeah, look at that. That interior held up real nice. Those panels are beautiful. Well, if I do a Pete cab over, I'll know where to come. I like those fans. Some guys spend their Saturdays watching sports or going golfing and me, I'm always playing on old trucks. So I couldn't, I just couldn't let these fans go. I think they're gonna be a nice addition to uh, my Pete. Mount them up on the uh, the overhead console there. Get a little air blowing, and I think they're they're pretty cool and authentic. So we'll uh, we'll get these things off of here and see what else we can find. Look at this neat old Mac. I always liked Max as a kid with the uh, the original Bulldog. Look how minty that hood ornament is. It's cool. I don't know much about them. You know, there's no year on it. Oh, I want that sticker. Oh, look at that. Twin sticks. That's a cool glitter knob. Looks like someone took the other one on the auxiliary. He's even got the, the glitter switches. Well, if those were orange, I'd grab those. This is a minty old truck. Look at that vintage button tuck interior. It's pretty neat too, an exhaust, a uh, separate exhaust. Pyro gauge up on the dash. Just neat, neat stuff. Look at that original Mac pedal. You probably can't see it. There we go. Man, there's some neat stuff here. Love it. Love it. So rare. Doesn't have the year. No. Cool. That's something you don't see every day. It's a bulldog emblem. There's not much of it left. Kind of rotted away, but it's bulldog on the Canada flag. That is really neat. Must have been for the ones that were made in Canada. <laughs> Lots of old twin stick trucks in this yard <laughs> I love it it's kind of neat they got the uh, the heater core right in there right in the cab look at that authentic seat so cool it's like an old motor and tranny was pulled out and sitting here the Mac Max a torque transmission so it says five speed on it so it's a five speed main and then here was the auxiliary now that was the difference between uh, typically Kenworth and Pete's had the auxiliary on the far side of the main shifter, whereas Max had them on the inside. That's good to know though. I know where I can get one of these shifter auxiliaries. Well, they got that name, right? <laughs> the ugly. Looks like someone bought it from Ritchie Brothers years ago. Holy cow. U.S. Air Force. What a machine this must have been. Look, it has two front drives and the backs are gone now. But what an incredible piece of kit this thing must have been. Oh, look at that. Excellence in motion. 401 Transportation Squadron. Wow. Very cool. Look at that frame. It's about twice the height of a typical Peter Kenworth that only goes to about there. She's beefy. Old Intersmational. The mechanics that work here were laughing at me. Runs well. They were saying that uh, they're not quite as excited about this old junk as I am. Probably because they work on it every day. And, and for me, it's just a hobby, but oh, this is cool. I love this. I could spend all day here. That's a neat pedal. Never seen that before. It's like a flipper the kids use in the pool. Yeah, Kenworth. This is when they started making their, their T800. Some people call them anteaters because the front ends are kind of pointed down. 
Holy cow, Jim sod farms. That's hilarious. My dad had a sod farm when I was a kid called Superior Sod Farm and Jim Sod was our competitor. So this must've been one of their, uh, one of their trucks. It's a pretty rough shape now. Boy, Jim Sod had Kenworth and my dad had an old Ford F700, but he still had a better product. Now we're into the furred section. Spent a lot of years in an L9000 hauling gravel. So I'll be pretty familiar with this interior. And my cousin has lots of farm uh, uh, green trucks, old Fords. Yeah, that's pretty common. Yeah. Here's an old 9000. Oh, check out that old Ford cab over. Boy, she's a rare bird. <laughs> that would be a heck of a project. What year is this thing? Ford 9000 cab over. Yeah, doesn't have, doesn't have the year. Man, that's cool because it's so rare. You do not see one of these. Oh, mouse nest central almost as bad as my peat, but I don't get a hantavirus. Now that, sh their shifter knob is a little more authentic for my project snowman. Nipped out the bandit was gone. Awesome. Just unbolted, I have to ask. That's a neat sleeper. Huh. Wow. She might be a little too far gone and I, I hate Dayton's, but we could definitely, uh, we could definitely take that shifter knob with us. Probably have a hazmat suit on. All I know is what's in this little nest. But we'll just try and leave that undisturbed. Get the right wrench. Probably nine steens. Probably able to do this one handed, but no, oh, good. Not seized. All right, should just be able to unscrew this guy right off of here. And hopefully not get hantavirus in the process. That thing is threaded on there. Come on, baby. It's coming off a lot easier than those fans did. There we go. All right, another junkyard prize. Now I am here for a purpose. I am looking for a few items. One of the ones is a uh, is a roof air conditioner. Kind of looking for the authentic metal one. Now this one's uh well you can't see from this side. This one's a red dot. It looks like an aftermarket one. But it's probably in decent shape if I can get up there. I'm falling down. Ugh. Yeah, red dot. I think these were aftermarket ones. The guys just kind of mounted to the roof. Looks in good shape. You could almost paint it up and make it look a little more vintage, but at least it would work and it's not all pounded out. Okay, at least I know it's here. Oh, a little something came through the windshield there. From my experience with the uh, wasps on the, on my Kenworth, I'm a little nervous at opening some of these doors. Nothing too exciting. Oh, neat though, look at that. The bulldog pressed right into the uh, the button tuck panel. That is pretty mint. It's like a mid eighties Kenworth. I like the, uh, the Sia up there on the top. It's 900B. Oh, look at the button tuck. Does that look familiar or what? <laughs> it's almost identical to what I got in uh, in old blue. I wish you grab those lights. Cool. Cool, cool. I love all this stuff. Man, maybe I should have a junkyard. I wonder if the missus would let me uh, buy a quarter section and just start collecting old trucks. See how many I get before I'm done. <laughs> 73? Oh, what the hell? Why is this red? I wonder if this just wasn't an anniversary edition. Oh man, or it's not the original hood. 
Oh, that sucks. Finally found a 73 and it's just a regular old emblem. What she got in it for a motor? Oh, big old Detroit. I bet you this thing was noisy when it was running. Some of these freight shakers have seen better days. Old cab over. 87 Freeland. That's probably the same as. Yeah, not for hire. Probably quite similar to Bruce Wilson's. Yeah, there you go, Bruce. Found some spare parts for you. Yeah, 15 speed. Nothing too exciting. Tear is actually in pretty good shape. Yeah. Not for me. The only freight liner I'd freight liner I'd get is an FLC and do a pork chop express. This is Jack Burton and the Pork Chop Express, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. Like I told my last wife, I says, honey, I never drive faster than I can see. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. <laughs> Look at the patina on this old girl. Boy, that takes years to form. Be beauty to polished up and clear coated. Old International. It's amazing how good the, the chrome plating was on that horn. Ah, uh, neat old twin stick. Check out that International ashtray. Uh, neat. Hey, free shingles. Yeah, there's lots of projects here. Like I said before, you could put 30, 40, 50 grand into this thing and have a nice $20,000 truck at the end of it. But we're not doing it for the money, right? We're doing it for the fun. That's a vintage GMC cab over. I don't think I've ever seen an old Jimmy cab over. <laughs> Look at that shifter. Just bent all the way forward. This thing must have been a hoot to drive. Original extended cab. Oh, Mercury. Crazy about a Mercury. Look at that, Alberta 1968. It's a neat plate. And check out that chrome. The rest of the truck's just rusted, but look at the quality chrome back then. You could polish that up. Things are made a lot different. M155. Boy, what a tiny cab. Pretty basic, but neat dash. Look at that. Mercury dash. This would be a pretty cool hot rod. Put a little flat deck on it. Maybe a 12 valve Cummins. Oh man, too many projects. That's kind of what I'm looking for. An old school metal uh, condenser for the roof. And uh, it's not quite matching the Kenworth style, but it's close. I like the International uh, Harvester logo on it. Well, look at that. It actually it was probably just mounted aftermarket and it would blow cold air on your forehead right through the roof. <laughs> look at this old beast. The old V-bar chains on it. Looks like Lincoln Hawks bumper. actually an auto car it might just be I don't know much about my auto car trucks it's either an auto car or an old Kenworth but boy oh boy does that ever look a lot like the one well the movie duel as well had something similar well, there's the power tower and my uh, my shifter rods and this guy, it would start, this would be the power tower and it would start turning your PTO. Cool. Uh, no wasps, please, or snakes. Oh, she is pretty vintage. So yeah, it's the, uh, we have a twin stick, obviously. 
but that glitter knob's a little too far gone. Yeah, is it a Kenworth? I don't know. Yeah, there's your shift pattern if you don't know, you don't know how to shift it. It's a little different than most transmissions. First stop drive doesn't work, but third does. Neutral is park, reverse is second. If you want to use reverse, put it in drive. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I don't recognize this at all. Oh, Jacob's brake switch. Nice. Whew, smells pretty rough in here. Probably a too far gone, but neat piece of history. You can learn a little more about this, this old girl. Whoops. Oh, she's a haze. That's why I don't recognize it. Yeah, boy, this is a rare truck. Haze were made in uh, in Vancouver for a few years. Extremely rare. Well, I know there's a collector that would be probably very interested in this old truck. So, so there you go. The Lincoln Hawk look-alike. Nice old haze. Well, now I know where I can come to get an old B block. If they got an A back here sitting around somewhere. Oh, that might be one there. That looks awfully familiar. Oh, what a fun day. No, she's a B block as well. You can tell because the pump's farther forward. The A block, like mine, the injection pump's way at the back. A little less common. But yeah, no, that's just great. I, uh, I love looking at old stuff and hope you enjoyed the little, the little tour as well. Got a couple little goodies. Got my, like I said, I got my Peterbilt fans. The, uh, found some glitter knobs. I've only got four of them, but at least it's something. And then I got a couple rockers out of that 362 as well, because the uh, the writing's all worn off the ones on my feet. So, oh yeah, and then of course got this minty old Eaton shifter to try and be a little more authentic to the uh, to the movie truck of Project Snowman. So, good uh, good haul today. I enjoyed that. All right, till next time.